John Stewart and welcome to Cello Chat. Today we're going to be talking about printed material. These are um, books, um, printed books uh, and music relating to the cello. Okay, let's start off with a scale book. Now, I think scales are very, very important to a cellist development. In fact, every day I play through a scale, arpeggio, and broken thirds. And I really find that it helps to center me. So I'm a great believer in scales. Now, one of the best books that I have as far as the scale books go is this one by Julius Klingel. K-L-E-N-G-E-L. Julius Klingel. Um, it's called Technical Studies for the Violoncello, Volume 1. There are two major publishers or people that, that, that uh, print the book. Um, one of them is Shermer and the other one is International. So both of them are very, very good. And I highly recommend this book because it covers all the major and minor scales and it really covers the entire range of the cello. So when you're really done with it, you have a much better command of the instrument. So I highly recommend that. Um, within the realm of scale books, uh, there's also a really excellent uh, scale book by Mark Yampolsky, and it's called Violin Cello Technique. And this one is, um, um, I'm looking for the ed edition here. Uh, this is Hal Leonard edition. Uh, Mark Yampolsky, Y-A-M-P-O-L-S-K-Y. Uh, it's excellent. The Yampolsky uh, really is the next level of scale books because it, 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 it gives you so much more to the scales. Uh, you're playing scales in, in double stops and uh, it's, it's really a, a fantastic book. I highly recommend it. Now, after the scales, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer also in playing etudes. So etudes are really bridges between the technical work of the scales and the more musical uh, expressions of the pieces. So what etudes are are small studies intended to uh, really spotlight one uh, particular technical challenge on the cello. And, uh, Growing up, uh, I always really enjoyed playing this Al Alwyn Schroeder, 170 Foundation Studies for the Violoncello. Uh, Schroeder is spelled S-C-H-R-O-E-D-E-R, -E Alwyn Schroeder, 170 Foundation Studies for the Cello. It's excellent. Uh, it's a compilation. It has uh, pieces by Sebastian Lee here and Dotsauer. And uh, I find that it's musical and also uh, I, I really like the sequencing. It starts off on open strings and with each uh, progressive uh, etude or study, it gets more complex until the end of the book where, you know, it's uh, pretty involved. So uh, this will definitely keep you busy for a while. It's a good book. Um, now, within the realm of etude books, really, there's one that, uh, that, that is extremely important, and that is the uh, David Popper High School of Cello Playing. Uh, Popper spelled P-O-P-P-E-R, and this is the 40 studies, or sometimes it's subtitled the High School of Cello Playing, uh, Opus 73 for cello. Uh, this is really the standard for etudes. Um, you know, very, very important, many auditions, uh, uh, like, for example, the Texas All-State uh, competition, uh, they, almost every year they, they pick an etude out of this volume. That's how important it is. So, uh, and I think it's an excellent technique builder. So it, it, it uh, definitely is uh, worth your time. That's David Popper, High School of Cello Playing. Okay, moving on to pieces. Uh, there's a, there's a, 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 just an incredible... Uh, cornucopia of, of pieces written for the cello. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them because, you know, that would take all day. But what I'm going to do is, is, is talk about just a few volumes that I think are, 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 are really good. Um, I like the Suzuki books. Uh, Suzuki spelled S-U-Z-U-K-I. 
Uh, Suzuki was a very uh, important uh, violin teacher from Japan. And he basically discovered that people learn languages by listening to them. They're really people learn by ear, and, and I think it's so true. And there's a certain naturalness that Suzuki Method has um, about learning to, to, to make music first through the ear and then later on through the printed note. Uh, that said, I mean, uh, it's a little bit controversial, his uh, method of teaching, because, you know, students are waiting so long before they learn to read music. So... Uh, I, I like Suzuki, but also I think there comes a point pretty early on in our development where we need to be reading music, and that should happen fairly quickly. But Suzuki edited uh, several uh, editions of a cello. It's called the Suzuki Cello School, and it, it starts part one, part two. I think the, the parts go up into the teens, and when you get to the later uh, editions of Suzuki, it's really standard repertory. So uh, these are the same pieces that you'll see, you know, um, you know, everywhere. Uh, they're really fantastic, and I and I like the sequencing. I like the 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 progression. He, you know, one piece after another, and it's edited very well. I mean, I've 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 heard, some of my colleagues uh, complain sometimes about the editing, but overall, I think the fingerings and bowings are quite good in it. Uh, if you're going to buy the Suzuki uh, volumes, go ahead and get the piano part that goes with it. And I think that, uh, that, that that's very, very useful. And, uh, you know, if you want to play uh, with a pianist, then uh, you have both parts at the same time. Okay, um, going to uh, my local uh, 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 music store, I came across this, and it's called Cellist Favorite Contest Album. And uh, this one is edited by Franklin Collier. And I really, really like this uh, volume. It comes with the piano part and then also the cello part. So that's, you know, really great. You have both of them at the same time. Also, a, a little added bonus to this is that in the back of the newer edition, there's a CD, an accompaniment CD, which has piano uh, without the cello. So. Uh, you can place the uh, the uh, CD in a in a uh, CD player and then play along with the recording. Uh, the recording has just the piano part. So, you know, if if you don't have access to a pianist, this might be an, a good way to kind of get to know the piece uh, f from you know a more complete standpoint. Um, the listing here is very good. You know, have Allegro Appassionato uh, by Sesson and uh, Ave Maria by Schubert. Um, the Elegy by, uh, by Fauré, um, so there's, there's, there's really quite a bit. The Swan uh, by Camille Sesson, and they also have a tuning track as well. So um, I, I liked it. I, I, I thought it was very good. Now, um, I changed some of the fingerings on here, but I, I think it's well edited as well. So that's, uh, that's that. This is the cellist favorite contest album. And so you're getting a lot of uh, good pieces in one volume. Uh, and that's a little more cost-effective than, than buying each of the pieces separately. Um, many years ago, I purchased this from Shermer Music. Uh, it's called Cello Music by French Composers, from Couperon to Debussy, uh, for violin, cello, and piano. And um, I found that this was very good. You know, I started going back to this, and uh, it comes with a piano part as well. And it, it really has, you know, some really beautiful uh, pieces in here. And once again, it's a compilation of many of uh, many composers, and, and uh, is well edited, and the paper's very good. Um, I'm really kind of down on photocopying for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, first of all, you know, uh, publishers and, and musicians make a living by selling music. So uh, photocopies, there's, you know, it, it's illegal. You know, it, it, it bypasses. Uh, you know the the editor and the, you know uh, the people that are in the industry to make money through that, uh, and also on a, on, a, on a more practical level, you know uh, photocopies. Uh, generally speaking, photocopies uh, fade over time. So if you you know if you're working on a piece and it's a photocopy, the paper is not very good. The ink could start chipping off, and you know in a few years down the line, you may want to go back to that piece and you know review your fingerings and bowings. And if it's on a photocopied uh, edition, uh, you know, it, it may not be there anymore. So uh, I'm, I'm not a, a believer on photocopies. Better to go ahead and get good paper uh, that will hold up. 
uh, that the print won't fade, that the binding won't come apart. So uh, go ahead and invest in, 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 in some, some printed material. Okay, that's all we have time for today. I hope uh, that you've enjoyed uh, our time together. Until next time. Mm -hmm.